You know who I want to get as a sponsor? Who? Dockers. Why? Because I feel like there, there's like this... I feel like I could really sell some Dockers, first of all. How Matt and I met is uh, Colin Ritchie, who has played drums in both our bands at different times. He was playing in Cataldo, and I was, after the uh, rehearsal, he was like, you really should check out this other band. They're looking for a bass player right now. And he played it, and I was like, this is like the like very slightly helium version of my own voice. Just like a little bit higher. And I was like, I kind of need to meet this person, which is how Matt and I met. Uh, Matt w gave me a very serious talking to about what it was going to be like to join his band at the time. And <laughs> Did I? Oh yeah, you took, you took me out for a drink and you were like, listen, <laughs> in this band, here's how things go. It's a different sort of overall setup than we've done ever. When Band Crush is about like two bands joining together and like doing something, we're like, wait, this is going to be like literally exactly the same. Yeah, and so, it would just be a normal show of, of both of our bands with the normal members. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so we were like, um, let's add a horn section. And so we called up some old friends and we did some arrangements for that. We had two drummers and uh, a horn section, and you and I both play guitar. And let's just see what that could be like. And so when we were doing it, we were like, let's start out with that kind of in mind, like two drummers, but everyone playing really super quiet and kind of, sorry to say it, but tasty, some tasty choices. And it worked out, it was, it's been a cool thing, yeah. Okay, when it comes to pitch, range, tone, expression, I think Matt's got it over me. I think if you, if you just pay attention to the sound of the voice, uh -huh. then I probably will. I think, right, if you're focused on the sound, but, however, if you were to see who has the narrowest band of frequencies that you hear while singing, in other words, a very band passy, nasally bad sound, yeah. I, I think I've sort of got it on that. In that I don't know.